we are back at Dollywood. This is one of our favorite theme parks to visit, but it's been almost a year since we've been here. There are so many changes that have happened at this park too. Specifically, there's a brand new coaster. So of course, we're gonna ride that today and just have a Dollywood filled day. We are so happy to be back in Tennessee and in the mountains, and we can't wait to share it with you guys. So we kind of have a tradition when we visit a theme park all day, and that's that we skip the coffee and we go straight for the most thrilling ride. And uh, generally when we're here at Dollywood, the first ride that we do is lightning ride when it's up and operating. And right now it looks like it's about a five minute wait. So we're headed straight to lightning ride. Ooh, I am, uh, I'm wide awake. Same. Um, it is, that is, Wow, uh, I, I don't know how to describe it. I think we even said it in our last video. Every time I get it on it, I forget how intense it, it is. is. It's so intense. I honestly think it might be the most intense coaster I've ever been on that doesn't have an inversion because it doesn't go upside down. Like it's just a lap bar, but it's wild. And there are a couple times where you get like completely sideways. That thing's great. <laughs> This Dippin' Dots cart here just reminded me of a fresh wound. So when we were at SeaWorld, I really wanted to get some Dippin' Dots, but I waited till the end of the day and then all the carts closed and I didn't get to get my Dippin' Dots. Not today. I'm getting some today. A potato tornado. That sounds awfully familiar to something that we've had before. Also that loaded potato tornado sounds delicious. We gotta try that. We gotta see how it is. My mouth is watering so much. This smells delicious. They were frying up the potatoes like right in front of our faces. So of course at Halloween Horror Nights at Universal, twisted taters are like a huge thing. So when we saw this potato tornado, we had to get it. And I don't think one has ever been made more perfectly for me. Like if I was going to pick my exact toppings that I got on a twisted tater, this would be it. I, I'm dying to dig in. Oh. It's so crunchy. It's like chip crunchy. Oh. <laughs> this is perfect. Like, it's literally like little like homemade potato chips and then they're top, but then some of them are more potato-y. Oh, I'm impressed, Dollywood. These are super crunchy. Uh, the problem with the ones at Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando, they're, they're not soft, but they're not crunchy, like they don't frown long enough. It's just better, right? Right? It's just a better version of the Twisted Tornado. I now, um, I'm now a tornado, tor or a potato tornado fan. Uh, Twisted Taters are a thing of the past. Uh, I mean, I'll still get one at HHN, but this is better. Seriously, the more we've eaten it, the better it's gotten. Um, Dollywood people, you should get in contact with Universal people. Teach them the secrets. Teach them the ways. We've said it many times, this is probably our favorite food theme park that we've ever been to. Oh yeah. It's just so good. Um, but luckily, there's a lot of hills. Like, we're walking up a hill right now. There's <laughs> hills everywhere, so you burn off some of those calories. Uh, as many times as we've come here, there are still things that we have never done. I mean, we used to come, you know, once a year, twice a year, something like that when we lived in Tennessee. But there are still plenty of things that we've never explored. So today, I think we're gonna focus on hitting a few of those things. We are walking up the hill, and I had no idea that this was the top side of Grist Mill, which is where you get the cinnamon bread. We started smelling it, and I was like, man, it's strong today, and then we walked right by here. I feel like I gained weight. <laughs> walking right. Just walking past oh it. Oh my gosh. Are we. Everybody knows how much we love cinnamon bread. Mm -hmm. I, I think if you've been to Dollywood, it's one of those things where before you get here, you're like, oh, the cinnamon bread can't be that good. And then you go home and you wake up in the middle of the night and you're just like, oh, cinnamon bread. <laughs> like, and you just like start screaming it. <laughs> what? what? I'm serious. You, you've never done that? Oh, I have. I'm okay, just yeah, laughing was... at your reenactment of it. <laughs> we'll be back, cinnamon bread. We'll be back. On our last Dollywood video, we got so many comments asking us if we rode Barnstormer or why we didn't ride Barnstormer. And we've actually never ridden it before. We have never experienced this. So we're gonna finally check it off the list. Okay. <laughs> 
I can see why a bunch of people told us to ride that. That is so much fun. I had no idea what to expect, but it's basically just like a giant swing. It's like a swing set from when you were a kid on steroids. Like I felt weightless, like my feet felt great. There's like a breeze through my shoes. Big fan, big fan of that one. I think Busch Gardens Tampa has a very similar attraction on a much larger scale. So we just looked it up. This one's 80 feet, and I feel like the one at Busch Gardens is like 140 feet. Uh, we Jeez. need to get we need to get over to Busch Gardens and check that out. I don't know about you. <laughs> um, when we were on top of like even when we were swinging, I could still I could still smell the cinnamon. Bread. <laughs> You know the drill. You gotta get icing for their cinnamon bread, but one for each of us. There are all kinds of reasons to love the Hollywood. I mean, tons of them. But number one through five are the cinnamon bread. Uh, everywhere you walk, you smell that smell. Like, and, it, it, and it's it's undescribable, but it's also once you smell it, you you'll always smell. Uh, I. We talk about it too much. And then anytime anybody mentions Dollywood, it's just like, oh yeah, the cinnamon bread, instead of talking about some of the other things that are, are incredible with the park, it's just like, oh yeah, cinnamon bread. Uh, that's like, it's basically all we ever do. There's a fly coming at I it. I mean, it, they love cinnamon bread too. Protect it at all costs. So the only debate that you can have is, one, like who gets to dip it and all the, the gooey stuff at the bottom. And two, whether it's better to dip it in that or this stuff, like it's supposed to, you've got it all over your face. <laughs> like you look like you look like a kid eating ice cream. I'm not surprised. Is there any other way to eat cinnamon bread? Is it bad that we literally just finished it? Like just put the last bite in our mouth, and I'm already ready for tomorrow because we're gonna get it again. Is that bad? Is that an addiction? Am I addicted? So there are some swings in Orlando that are like the really big, like super tall, hundreds of feet tall swings. And ever since we moved down there, I've been dying to ride them because I love these kinds of attractions. But Tyler doesn't necessarily love the swing rides, so he doesn't want to ride it with me. And I don't want to ride it by myself, but there are swings right behind me. And I don't care if you're riding them or not, I'm getting on them today. I'm gonna hand this to you. themed and this is my kind of area. I love all of this stuff so much. I could spend an entire day just exploring this and riding all the attractions. Okay, okay. It's not that I won't do it. I, I just have like this weird, I used to ride swings at a playground uh -huh. and all they did really was put a seatbelt on it and a motor and I just don't know if that makes it safer. <laughs> um, I think the seatbelt and the motor kind of cancel each other out. <laughs> Um, and the, the one in Orlando, I, I don't even know how tall. It's very tall. That one was like dozens of feet. I, I could have ridden that one. The one in Orlando is like hundreds of feet. So I, I'm just, no, like I'm, I'm out. I'm 100% out. Thankfully, I didn't have to ride it by myself though because some of our family is here hanging out. They decided to come down just for the day and spend it at Dollywood. So I got to ride the swings ride with some of our nieces and nephews, which is always fun. But we haven't even made it to like half of the park today. Like we've spent all of our time when you walk in, you go to the right, we've been over there all day today. So we're gonna start making our way over to like the newer side of the park where Wildwood Grove is and that new coaster. You see the eagle? I do. I, like everybody was sitting here like looking I can't, up. I, I mean, I can't see it. Like, <laughs> like I can see it, I can't see it with the camera. Oh, okay, the camera, yeah. Everybody was sitting here like looking up and I was like, what is it? And I finally, I finally saw it. That's so cool. There's a bunch of them, Tyler. Okay, so this is like a, a bird area that they have and there was a bunch of people sitting here like staring and pointing up and I saw one bald eagle, but now like he's up in a tree and on the ground below him, there's like six or seven just like chilling. There's actually a ton of them. Like yeah. every time we looked, 
we would see them. And we've been over here quite a bit. Um, and you might see one every once in a while. It seems like they're all out. There's I don't like know. There's like 20. Yeah, like <laughs> everywhere we look. And I didn't bring the other lens, so I don't have like, I can't like show zoom, everybody. Yeah. And it drives me nuts. But On top of eagles, do you see where we're close to? The show? No, the show's really good, oh. but... That barbecue oh, place. Oh house. my gosh! Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna have to eat there tomorrow. Get the something fries. there. Yeah, that's the can't stop, won't stop origination. Those French fries are so good. I love you, pork fries. You want to ride Blazing Fury? I mean, yes. we, 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 we kind of have to, right? <laughs> you can't come to Dollywood and not ride Blazing Fury. However, I am going to be prepared this time for like, that first on. bump and not get bruises on my arms. <laughs> that was way like being prepared for those dips or whatever. Yeah, it's not nearly as bad. Like no, I, the first time that we rode it, uh, rode it, rode it. Um, the first time that we rode it, I was I was hurting. Yeah, for like a couple of days. I like came out of my seat and came back down like really hard because I wasn't prepared for the drops. This time I knew they were coming and I had myself like wedged in there. And it was like it didn't feel bad. No, much better. <laughs> Why do I love that like shiny orange dinosaur? Like normally, I don't care at all about like the prizes at the little like carnival games or whatever. That shiny orange dinosaur is stinking adorable. Really? <laughs> do you not like the dinosaur? Sure. <laughs> We're in like roller coaster alley over here. There's like four or five coasters right in a row. Tennessee Tornado? No. Fire Chaser Express? Yes. Oh, looks like they're setting up for the foam pit again. <laughs> Man, and, like, I'm the, so the, sad just, just it wasn't going you know, today. I was yeah, going to jump yeah, in there. You, yeah, you can you can stop that right here. I guess that'll be next weekend because the summer celebration starts next weekend. Uh, <laughs> we but, barely missed it. <laughs> but Fire Chasers was a lot of fun. That ride is so much fun. Like, it's not the best ride here, and it's not the most thrilling ride here, but I can sit there and ride it over and over and over again. It's kind of like the mummy where, like, you get off and you're like, I love that, and not, like, I need to sit, but it was awesome. So like I, I could just do it over and over. And I love that it's like up in the mountains. Like it adds extra thrill because it is so high up there. It's a little sketch. <laughs> Wildwood Grove. Uh, we fell in love with this the last time that we were here. So this is the newest part of Dollywood. And the last time that we came was the first time that we'd ever visited it. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. There's something so charming about it, and we spent, I would say, like 25 <laughs> to 30 percent of our time up here last time. It's just so much fun. I know. I've been looking forward to getting up here all day. Like, all the new rides are amazing, and then Big Bear Mountain is up here too. It's, it's just perfect. What's crazy is when we were here a year ago, they hadn't even started. Like, none of them. Like, none of this existed when we were here. It wasn't even quite a year ago. I totally forgot about the little bear ride that I rode last time. That was amazing, by the way. But I love how they just doubled down on all the bear theming. So you have the little bear ride over here, and then you have Big Bear Mountain. So they're just, they're going heavy with the bear theming. Okay, I'm like super shocked by two things right now. First of all, I had no idea this was a splash pad because like the last time party. we were here was like a dance party. Also, the little like bird spinny ride, like the swings. The mockingbird? That, yeah, that. That was like one of our favorites last time. We have to ride that. I could be wrong, but Big Bear looks massive. Yeah. Like we just keep walking it and it keeps <laughs> keeps going yeah like it's all the way in the back over here and then there's dragonfire we have a lot of stuff left to do i'm so excited to finally ride this we've been we wanted to come up here for opening but it kind of it lined up very poorly what was it it lined up with something just oh, awful my parents coming down and hanging oh, out yeah, 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 the beach had, house yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah yeah that's it yeah we should have come up here nah. <laughs> <laughs>
Spooky. One more. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be better. That was awesome. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, and yes. it was it was really long. Yeah. I looked. We well, we looked it up after we got off. Almost four thousand foot of track. Yeah. Which is a long coaster. Now I thought it ran for at least two minutes, and turns out it's like a minute thirty uh, to a minute forty. Yeah. But it was still. I don't know. I Very loved good. it. I we, we got in the front row. It's just like it's so smooth. Yeah. And it's a great family coaster because there's no inversions. It's not crazy thrilling, but it's thrilling enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's thrilling enough to like do it over and over again because it's tons of fun. Yeah, it's got some really good launches yeah. on it too. That's a great addition to Dawn. Yeah. If you're wanting to know like how thrilling Big Bear Mountain is, I think it's pretty similar to Hagrid's. So obviously Hagrid's is like way more themed and things like that. But as far as like the speed, the launches, the hills, I think it's very similar to Hagrid's and it's a great family coaster because people who love really thrilling rides it's fast enough and it has some really fun elements but it's not so like thrilling it doesn't throw you out of your seat that I think kids are still gonna enjoy it too. What a fun day! We're going to take the last hour and just enjoy the beauty of the parks because this is an absolutely beautiful park. And Anna, she got her dipping Pots. Finally. And there's like a special flavor. They got Big Bear... Brownie uh, batter. Big Bear Brownie batter. It's difficult to say, but that was a ton of fun. It's nice being back in Tennessee, and it's great to get back out here to Dollywood. If you've never been to Dollywood, we highly suggest you come check this out because you will fall in love. If you want to see what to do if it rains at Universal, check out this video right up here. But thanks for hanging out, guys, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.